Hey everybody, welcome back to the Sanctuary. Saul here. Just wanted to give a quick update. Uh, it's fall here at the Sanctuary. Fall is oftentimes one of the seasons where we definitely have um, strange behavior that goes on. Um, there doesn't seem to be a whole lot happening right now except for the fact that there are a lot of deer in the valley. Uh, last night uh, we observed at least three of them uh, in the brush. Uh, two of them uh, were very concerned with something that was in the dark that wasn't us <laughs> whatever that is i have no idea but um, it is a little bit disconcerting when you notice that in the dark that uh, you're right there with a, a big brightly lit vehicle and making noise and the deer are way more terrified of something that you can't see in the woods than they are of you um, of course that doesn't translate into Sasquatch who knows what that is but um, it definitely is uh, different that we've got a lot of deer that seem to really be hanging around and holding in close to the um, the more developed areas of the property they don't really seem to want to be uh, deeper into the brush a whole lot um, but uh, yeah it's uh, one of the things that's happening down the road here we have quite a bit of fogging going on now this is a, a Bigfoot um, conservation YouTube channel, um, but I try really hard not to get into uh, moralizing. I mean, we all understand that there's a building boom going on because there's a shortage of housing, um, and that's going to continue on as it should. Uh, however, there are also uh, ecological consequences of um, that type of economic behavior at the same time. Um, so. Uh, it kind of makes me wonder if the the deer are are kind of moving in from those areas that are being heavily logged uh, there's a number of things that go on during a logging operation that uh, browsers like deer are not going to be very comfortable with they don't particularly like having a lot of noise around because of course that puts them at a disadvantage to predators if they can't hear what's going on in their surroundings uh, which could push them further over into adjacent areas such as this um, where they're not experiencing that. So it's, uh, you know, one of the things with, with Sasquatch uh, that I kind of feel is that they monitor each valley and what's going on with the deer in uh, every little nook and cranny of their territory. If you have a lot of logging going on, um, I kind of feel like it's totally possible that that could be pushing them uh, further into areas like this and that could also bring in um, the Sasquatch as they're kind of forced into, well, now my food supplies aren't where I thought they were going to be. They're being pushed out. We got to kind of follow them um, and get to them before the humans do because it also happens to be hunting season right now. So there's a number of things going on ecologically. Um, you know, the clear cutting obviously has a huge impact on the environment. It's basically a reset in the same way that a wildfire is. Um, not only at the time of the, uh, the clear cutting, as you have big machinery and they're stripping out the vegetation, but then afterwards when they come back and actually replant, um, a lot of these companies, the way that they do it is they, they come in as they're doing plantings and they'll, they'll try to get rid of any deciduous shrubs that are growing up in that area. And so they use a lot of chemicals to kind of keep the shrubbery down in order to give the... Um, the conifer is a chance to, to grow. Um, and so, you know, in, in the long run, I think that, that Sasquatch definitely, obviously, because they're still around, in the long run, they have the ability to sort of respond to clear cutting. And in some ways, um, the clear cutting could help them in the sense that eventually the shrubbery comes back up and the areas along the margins in particular can have a lot of shrubbery. Um, and you know a lot of new growth and so I think that they exploit the creatures that exploit that new growth um, but at the same time I, I, I recognize that it's got to be a challenge to them as this sort of reshuffles all the decks in their in their cards so that's just a few thoughts I'll probably get into a little bit more as the fall goes on because as we've seen with this building boom it's not slowing down um, it's just it, it, it's massive what's going on in the Pacific Northwest alone 
um, as far as the number of structures that are going up and continue to go up and the fact that rents are still just outrageous because we don't have enough housing here and so that is going to put great pressure on uh, the rural parts of the Pacific Northwest to continue keeping logging activity way up there. So again, I understand why we're doing it, um, but we need to be aware of the, the ecological issues that we're causing. And one of the creatures that we need to be taking into account when we think about these things is, is definitely in the Sasquatch. All right. Thanks for tuning in.